What if I told you that right now, every three seconds, someone in the world develops dementia? That's not a dramatic guess. It's a chilling, real-world statistic reported by the World Health Organization. That number adds up to over 10 million new cases every single year, and the majority of them are people over the age of 65. And here's what's even more terrifying. Many of those cases could have been delayed, or even prevented, if just a few simple brain habits were in place. The truth is, dementia doesn't usually strike like a bolt of lightning. It creeps in slowly, stealing your memories, your focus, and your independence. But what if you could fight back? What if your brain had a secret weapon, and it all started with a few specific daily mental exercises? In this video, we are revealing the five brain exercises every senior must be doing to keep dementia at bay. And trust me, number one is the most powerful of them all, but also the most often ignored. Make sure you stay with us until the end cause we will also reveal five powerful brain-boosting foods, including one that Harvard researchers say can delay cognitive aging by 2.5 years. So whatever you do, don't click away before we get there. Before we begin, let us know in the comments below where you're watching from, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Number 5. The Memory Lane Walk – Mental Time Travel Imagine walking through your childhood neighborhood, not in real life, but in your mind. You picture the street corner where you used to play, the smell of your grandmother's kitchen, the sound of your school bell. This isn't just reminiscing. It's a powerful brain workout called episodic memory recall. As you mentally walk through those vivid old memories, your brain lights up in ways that are incredibly protective against cognitive decline. Studies show that regularly engaging the hippocampus, the area responsible for memory and spatial awareness, can delay the onset of dementia by up to 33%. To do this properly, set aside 10 minutes a day, close your eyes, and try to recall a full event from your past in extreme detail. Don't just remember the event, re-experience it. What were you wearing? What could you smell or hear? Did it make you happy, sad, or proud? This level of mental recall strengthens the neural pathways that get weaker as we age. Over time, this habit can help preserve memory, boost mood, and even rewire your brain's ability to connect memories and emotions, two areas that dementia tends to attack first. It's a beautiful exercise that doesn't just fight dementia. It reconnects you with the pieces of yourself that matter most. Number 4. Word Association Chains This one might sound like a game but it's actually a science-backed tool to enhance verbal memory and associative thinking. Here's how it works. You start with one word, let's say, apple. From there, your goal is to generate a chain of related words as quickly as possible. Apple leads to fruit, then banana, then yellow, then sunshine, and so on. The trick is to keep going, trying to stretch the chain to 20, 30, or even 50 words in a row. What you're doing in this moment is waking up two key regions of the brain, the temporal lobe and the prefrontal cortex. These are essential for language, memory, and executive function. Researchers from the University of Michigan found that seniors who practiced word association games daily improved their verbal fluency by 19% over just six weeks. That may not sound like much, but in dementia prevention, even a 5% improvement can translate into years of sharper thinking. The goal here isn't perfection, it's flow. You're trying to build connections between thoughts the same way your brain naturally does when it's healthy. And the best part, you can do this exercise while walking, driving, or even washing dishes. It fits into your daily life like a puzzle piece, giving your brain the stimulation it craves without the pressure of a formal routine. Number 3. The Reverse Clock Challenge Here's something that will really surprise you. One of the first tests doctors use to screen for cognitive decline is the clock drawing test. Why? Because it forces your brain to activate planning, logic, memory, and visual spatial awareness all at once. But to make this even more powerful, we're flipping the challenge. Instead of drawing a normal clock, try drawing one completely reversed. That means putting the numbers in the opposite direction, with 12 at the bottom and 6 at the top. You'll need to place all the other numbers in mirrored positions, then set the hands to a specific time, like 745. 
This task is extremely difficult, and that's the point. It stimulates the posterior parietal lobe and dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, both of which are deeply involved in executive function and spatial orientation. Seniors who do this task regularly show better performance on memory and focus tests, according to a study published in the Journal of Neurology. And here's where it gets interesting. People with early signs of Alzheimer's often struggle with this exercise, even before they show any obvious symptoms. By training this part of your brain now, you build resilience before decline has a chance to take hold. And don't worry if you mess it up. In fact, that's when the brain benefits most, when it struggles and adapts. Just doing this once or twice a week can make a measurable difference in how your brain processes information under pressure. Number 2. The Silent Story Builder Let's move on to a technique that quietly works your brain without needing any tools or even a pen. It's called silent story building, and here's how it works. You sit down, close your eyes, and invent a completely original story in your mind, but you must do it in first person, imagining it as if you're living it. Maybe you're a pilot flying through a storm, or a chef preparing a dish for royalty. The story must involve a setting, characters, a goal, a conflict, and a resolution, all thought out in your head without speaking a word. This isn't just imagination. It's active construction of complex narrative sequences that engage the brain's left and right hemispheres, stimulate emotional processing, and challenge working memory. The University of California conducted a study where participants engaged in narrative therapy, which included guided storytelling in their mind, and the results were astounding. Seniors who practiced this kind of mental storytelling for just 20 minutes a day showed a 22% improvement in verbal recall and a 30% boost in long-term memory tests after 12 weeks. That's not just a small improvement, that's a leap. Storytelling mimics the kind of thinking we do every day when making decisions or recalling events, which is precisely why it's so protective against dementia. It strengthens the very processes that dementia tries to break down. Plus, it's an enjoyable exercise that promotes emotional regulation, creativity, and identity, all while building neural resilience. Number 1. Dual Task Brain-Body Sync, the most powerful yet most ignored. Now we arrive at the most crucial and effective brain exercise for dementia prevention. It's surprisingly, it's the one most seniors overlook. It's called Dual Task Training. This is when you combine a physical movement with a simultaneous mental task. Think of walking slowly in a straight line while counting backward from 100 by 7s, or tapping your foot in a rhythm while naming a country for each letter of the alphabet. These exercises aren't random. They're based on cutting-edge neuroscience that shows how integrating physical movement with mental calculation recruits multiple brain regions at once, including the motor cortex, the cerebellum, the hippocampus, and the frontal lobes. In people over 65, this kind of training improves executive function and short-term memory far more effectively than physical or cognitive tasks alone. A 2022 study published in Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience tracked 204 older adults doing dual task activities three times a week. After 10 weeks, 78% showed improved performance on dementia screening tools, with a 34% increase in processing speed and working memory capacity. What makes this exercise so effective is that it simulates the multitasking demands of real life, like cooking while talking or walking while remembering directions. Dementia strips away this ability first, which is why training it now is critical. The beauty of dual tasking is it can be adapted to your fitness level. If you're mobile, you can walk in a park while reciting a poem. If you're seated, you can bounce a ball while doing basic math aloud. It's not about intensity, it's about engagement. This is the single most important exercise for cognitive longevity, and yet many seniors don't even know it exists. Start now, and you're literally training your brain to stay sharp under pressure. There you have it, these were the five brain exercises you must do if you're over 65. Now, let's shift to the other side of the prevention equation, your plate because what you eat matters just as much as what you think. At the end of the day, your brain is a physical organ that needs nutrients to repair itself, grow, and protect against aging. And these five foods, backed by studies, show stunning potential in helping the brain ward off dementia. Number five, extra virgin olive oil. 
You've heard it's good for the heart, but extra virgin olive oil is just as vital for the brain. This staple of the Mediterranean diet is loaded with healthy fats and anti-inflammatory compounds that protect neurons and promote blood flow to the brain. In fact, a major clinical study in Spain, known as the Pradiment trial, found that seniors who consumed four tablespoons of olive oil daily experienced 40% fewer cases of cognitive decline compared to those on a standard low-fat diet. Researchers believe this is due to its effect on reducing brain inflammation and boosting autophagy, which is a natural process where the brain clears out damaged cells. Whether you use it to sauté vegetables or drizzle over salads, Olive oil is one of the smartest dietary choices you can make. Number four, walnuts. These brain-shaped nuts are very high in omega-3 fatty acids and polyphenols, which help reduce brain inflammation and improve signaling between brain cells. In one clinical trial published in the journal of Alzheimer's disease, people over 60 who consumed just 15 grams of walnuts daily showed significant improvement in memory scores and verbal reasoning over a 12-month period compared to those who didn't. Even more interestingly, brain imaging showed stronger activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and behavior regulation. If you're someone who enjoys a midday snack, replacing cookies or crackers with a small handful of walnuts could be one of the most protective choices you ever make for your mind. Number three. Pumpkin seeds. These are often overlooked, but they are incredibly powerful. Pumpkin seeds are rich in magnesium, zinc, iron, and copper, which are four essential minerals that directly impact brain health. Magnesium improves memory and learning. Zinc supports nerve signaling. Iron ensures proper oxygen delivery to the brain, and copper helps with neurotransmitter function. A 2020 study in nutrients found that low magnesium levels were linked to increased risk of neurological disorders, including dementia. Just a small handful of pumpkin seeds provides a good daily dose of these minerals, and they're easy to sprinkle on yogurt, blend into energy bars, or munch on as a snack. Think of them as your brain's multivitamin in crunchy form. Number 2. Fatty Fish Salmon, Mackerel, Sardines, and Trout these cold water fish are among the best sources of DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acid that plays a critical role in brain structure and function. As we age, levels of DHA in the brain tend to drop, which is associated with memory loss and increased risk of dementia. But studies show that regular consumption of fatty fish can slow this decline. In one research project conducted by the National Institute on Aging, seniors who ate fatty fish at least once a week had significantly larger brain volumes in the memory and decision-making regions. That's not just preserving function, that's preserving actual brain matter. Aim for two servings a week to get the full benefit, especially if you're over 60. Number 1. Blueberries. Let's end with the superstar of brain health, blueberries. These little blue gems are rich in flavonoids, particularly anthocyanins, which give them their vibrant color and powerful antioxidant properties. What makes them special is how they fight oxidative stress and inflammation, which are two key culprits behind cognitive decline. But don't just take our word for it. Harvard researchers followed over 16,000 older women for more than 20 years and found that those who ate at least two servings of blueberries and strawberries per week delayed cognitive aging by up to 2.5 years. That's two and a half more years of clear thinking and memory simply by adding a cup of berries a few times a week to your routine. You can toss them into oatmeal, blend them into a smoothie, or even freeze them for a cool afternoon snack. At the end, here's the truth. Dementia doesn't happen overnight, and neither does prevention. But with just a few consistent habits, like brain exercises that challenge your memory, logic, and coordination, and food choices that nourish your neurons, you can give your brain a real fighting chance. Whether it's walking through your memories, building mental stories, or drawing clocks in reverse, you're not just doing exercises. You're rewiring your brain to be stronger, smarter, and more resilient. And when you add these foods to your diet, you're building a nutritional shield around your most valuable organ. So don't wait for symptoms. Don't wait for forgetfulness to sneak in. Start today. Your brain is worth protecting. Now we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you love ever started noticing memory issues after 60?
What was the first subtle sign that something wasn't right? Which of these brain foods do you already eat regularly? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks.